One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. What's up guys? Uh, happy long weekend. Um, I was gonna make a video tomorrow, but I'm feeling kind of uh, ready tonight. So uh, I think a big, a big topic that I wanna discuss is sizing. Um, it's something I think I've talked about a lot, but it's, I, I wanna kind of get into this. Um, and I want to talk about the truth about sizing and the truth about using more size and, and all of that. So uh, over the time, over time, I, so I've been a mod for like almost two years or whatever, and you know I've gotten a lot of charts and I've gotten a lot of questions and um, and it's funny, you know, it's taken a long time, but I, I really have realized over this last year that majority of traders that are, are struggling in MIC I think are just using too much size. Um, and I say that because when I see certain charts with like stop outs too quick or, you know, people taking profit too quick or, um, or you know, people saying they don't know how to add to a winner properly and, and all that stuff and, or adding to a winner in weird spots, um, I think it all boils down to size. And I think that, um, you know, a lot of you guys, it's funny, it's like there's a lot of on, there's a lot of really great traders, right? That in MIC, then the ones that are you know not profitable, or not making money. It's funny, like you, when you're unprofitable, you you think that more size, and you need to use more size to make money, and you feel like you need more money so you can use more size. It's like a weird double-edged sword that you're you're stuck on. Um, when in reality, guys, like what we preach, right? Like. Like the MIC strategy that we teach is very scalable, um, but it becomes more scalable when you're consistent and when you have like at least, I don't wanna say a bankroll because you don't need a $100,000 in, in your trading account, but when you just have enough, I mean, Alex and Bao uh, trade on a 35K account. I trade on a 20, like I wire down to like 27K sometimes because I don't like having that much exposure and that's just how I am, right? So like every time I get to 30, I wire out. Right, even if it's every other day or whatever, I, that's just how I've done it. For 2021, I've changed up and I'm giving my I'm 30, I'm putting my account to 35 and it'll sit there and that will be my base and I'll basically do the same thing, go to 50 and wire up. But, you know, for the longest time, the reality is if you, you know, everyone here sees these massive P&Ls. This is like the funniest thing of trading. You see these huge P&Ls, right? Like in your, if you, pretend trading didn't exist, right? My in my job, right? Uh, for example, barbering, right? When you're in barber school, they tell you that if you don't own your own shop, the best you're gonna make most likely is like a thousand dollars a week. A thousand dollars a week, right? Um, my friend's a carpenter. He works his ass off, um, all week long, forty, fifty hours. He makes after taxes five, six hundred bucks, right? Um, my girlfriend's a teacher. Right, and I know how hard she works, and I know what she makes, and you guys can determine what teachers make. It's you know they don't get paid nearly what they should for their for what they do, right? So think about that. Think about your your friends, your parents, your whatever who make I don't know, call it fifty to a hundred grand a year, right? Fifty to a hundred grand a year, right? Let's pull up this. This is something I, I wanted to use for this video. Here we go to Bow's Twitter. There we go. It's my favorite thing that Bell has. To make 50K a year, to make the money that your friends, your family, you know, people just working like, you know, normal jobs are making, it is $200 a day. I'm not going to be a dick when I say this. That in trading is so easy. It's so easy. You can make that using 100 shares. Right? You really can. If you trade right and well, I don't hate saying easy, but it is. The next step, 100K a year. These are people who went to college. These are people who have good paying, pretty decent jobs, right? They are a step above and they're doing pretty well. 400 a day in trading. You, again, not to sound like a dick, you can make that no problem. 
no problem at all. You can use small size, 250 shares, 500 shares, you can make that. And I'm, if you want to sit here all day, of course you can make that easy. You can make that in an hour, okay? Everybody wants to get to this level, though. This level and above. 1K to 4K a day, which I understand, right? But the biggest thing you need to understand about trading is it doesn't matter how you get there. You can make $1,000 a day or $4,000 a day a million different ways, but everybody's always trying to make it on one big trade. They're trying to boom, like be done in an hour, and I get that, right? But the reality is you can't have these days unless you're making these this day consistently, then this day consistently, then this day consistently, and then you get this day, and then you go on and on and on, right? Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. So size is, of course, eventually something that comes with trading and comes with uh, profitability and being consistent, but it's not the end-all be-all and you don't need it, right? Alex posted this in After Hours the other day. If you're asking someone what their max size is, does nothing for you, right? You are trading your own process, your own bankroll. It doesn't matter. I don't care if Alex or Bao or Tosh or Harry or Tom, I don't care. I don't care if they're trading a million shares. It doesn't matter because guess what? I don't have the bankroll to trade a million shares. So I'm trading my bankroll, right? So now here's a good example. I want to pull up the charts from last week that we traded. So TRA was one of them, CHRA, whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay. So everyone always thinks that for some reason, using 500 shares is not enough, right? If you draw your lines on a stock like this, I don't remember, if you draw your lines on a stock like this, just simply drawing your lines, right? This is not, I'm not talking about adding, I'm not talking about doing anything else. Draw your support and your resistance lines, right? This was the support that turned into a resistance here and here. Now, if you trade, everyone, again, everyone's biggest stress is adding to a winner and adding size. And I'm telling you guys, let me just get rid of this. Hang on. I'm telling you guys, you don't have to do it. Learning to add to a trade is very hard and it comes over time. But first, learn proper execution. If you're using 500 shares max size, Right? And I'm back. Let's just, I'm, for, actually, I'm sorry. Forget the max size comment. Let's just say you want to trade, you're trading with 500 shares, right? Let's say even that's your 30% size, whatever. If you are patient enough for your entries and you draw the right lines, 500 shares will make you that $200 a day, no problem. No problem, okay? For example, look at this 585 was the line. I know for a fact. Bow is scaling, 575, 585, 595. So guess what? If you're using 250 shares each bullet and you get on this 500 shares right here, right? And you just trade line to line. Yes, 500 shares if you cover after five cents, of course, it's not gonna do shit for you. But if you trade line to line like we preach about, right? And the best way in my opinion, to determine line to line, because I keep getting these questions, is I have a, I trade on a two minute chart, but keep a five minute or a 15 minute or whatever you want, keep it right, keep it handy. I use a line chart as well. So I trade with a two minute, a five minute and a, and a line chart. Clear out the noise, draw your lines that you see, right? Here, you can, I don't want to point to the computer like you guys can see my finger. The bottom of this wick it was that little support there's also this line right here, and it's also right near the hole in half dollar. And when you go back, you can kind of confirm that line on your chart, right? So if you just simply play line to line, I'm just gonna get rid of one of them too. That's confusing. 500 shares. Set your set your orders. Set your stops. Set your. I don't like saying cover targets. Don't be don't be um, too stingy about it. But get near your line, like Bao does. Look at this. This is how Bao makes so much money. 500 shares, 585. Let's say you have a 580 average, and you cover around 545. 
550. 30, 40 cents, right? Right there in one stress-free trade, you just made $200, right? Stress-free. Now, I don't know why I got rid of this, I didn't mean to. So that means in one trade, using 500 shares, which costs nothing, you entered into the 50K a year bracket, right? If you can do that consistently every day, right? Okay. Now, the only difference between that trade from you to Bao is that Bao has been doing this a long time. He's got the bankroll, he's comfortable with his lines, and he knows the process by heart. So on that order, guess what? He uses, he, was, he showed everybody, I forget what chart it was. He was using a thousand share bullets. Okay, thousand, thousand, right? This isn't even adding to a winner. Bow's not adding to a winner anywhere. Thousand, thousand, boom. You got 2,000 shares at a 580 average. You cover down at your line, which is what he does. Look at that, 40 cents on 2,000 shares. That brings you to the Let's just call it almost the, this bracket, all from one trade. So all you have to do in trading is just slowly level up, right? I promise, start with the 500 shares, start with small size. You can make big money, right? Trading is a fucked up game because we see these numbers on Twitter, we see these overinflated P&Ls, right? It's tough, look, trading with a guy like Alex, I've traded with him on the phone. I've heard him make 50K, I've seen him make 100K. Yes, it's not easy. I love him like a brother, right? I love Tom like a brother. All these people make Harry make big P&Ls. It's not that you hate to see it, you just want it too, right? And it's fucked, it's toxic. But at the end of the day, these guys can, or Alex at least shows his PL because it's what he does is so achievable for everybody if you follow the process. You can't forget that he took six years to get to where he is, right? With MIC, I believe you can cut that more than in half if you follow the right steps. That's just my opinion. All right. Uh, reach out with any questions as usual. I hope this helps. Uh, give you kind of a kick in the ass and enjoy the. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.